This is the first of two episodes that cover our last day of jeeping in Colorado. In this first installment, we travel S2 and the Alpine Loop out of Silverton, stop at 13,000 foot Odom Point, meet a nice couple from Texas, then follow them in their four-door Wrangler across Engineer Pass and down the east side toward Lake City, Colorado. In part two, we'll leave Lake City and climb up and over Cinnamon Pass, then back down to Silverton. It was a long day, but worth every minute, and I hope you enjoy this Jeep ride-along tour. If I were to turn left, that takes me down to Durango, which is so oh, about 20 miles or so that away. And then uh, this way, uh, about 20, 25 miles or so uh, up to Silverton. So the train pulls in off to the right, camera right, and uh, dumps all the passengers out, and then you you walk into town about a block or so and partake of some of the, the food and the businesses. There's the Lone Spur Cafe. I think I've been in there. The guy used to play a piano. When we did our Durango trip up here, we uh, get on the train. And now we're headed up S2 towards uh, the high country. There's a little quick shot overhead view of the shoulder to shoulder camping at that Silver Silverton Lakes facility. Doesn't look bad if you're into that kind of camping. That's a pretty dramatic mine over there on the left hand side of the screen it's about to go out of view. It's like a very nice little RV park. So this is Eureka Campground and Store. Four-wheel drive or high-clearance vehicles recommended. Passenger cars and vans, not recommended. RVs and camper vehicles, not recommended. My ears just popped. Sorry, squirrels. Well, I just aired down my tires to 15 PSI. Should come in handy, I think. Always pays to be courteous. And this is what I had in mind when I bought the Jeep. Here on the hill, looking down. River there. Here come some more jeepers. Boy, is this pretty. Absolutely spectacular. Engineer Pass, Cinnamon Pass, straight ahead. Here we go. That's it. Cinnamon passes to the right, engineer passes to the left. So that ziggy zaggy I would imagine is the road up to engineer pass. where we're going and this is where we came from came up 
that valley. One more and three guys three or four guys come by I didn't I didn't see you <laughs> even there. straight up and over this. Uh-oh, I wonder if this is the big old Jeep tour. <laughs> There's 17, okay, so we'll count them. One, two, <laughs> Three. Hey. Four. Go 
that it? Slow through this slushy stuff. Over that. And sweep around. Follow him for a ways. I think we're going up there, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah. You can't quite tell, but maybe you can from going down that last hill. This is pretty steep. Like it's not even there. We're going up. Plenty of room. goes over that way but you gotta go over here for this view I'm sure Wow Absolutely gorgeous. Kids went down and sit on that cliff there. And this is where we're going. Not the zigzags there across, but I think it, it heads over. There's a junction right there. Well, that's where we were on the point. And that is where we came from. There. We are headed down the hill from Odom. We're gonna follow, I think it's Dave and Jan, fellow Texans from Denton. Very nice people. I helped them air down their tires. He said he'd never done that before. They came up that pass that we just, uh, we just came up without airing down, man. I love following people across this shale granite slope. This is the pass. Quite a few people here too. I'm gonna do a little whoop-de-doo here so, I, so you can get a picture of the whole valley. And I'm not going to get too close to the edge, believe me. There was the pass. Kind of anticlimactic. 
compared to Odom Point. I, I kind of enjoyed Odom Point. Those are fancy snowplow sticks. They're actually metal stakes, fence stakes, to which they've uh, added something much higher. So the snow plows where to know where to go. Hey, there's some snow. That's what that is. Not much, tiny bit. A few switchbacks back and forth down the uh, Engineer Pass Trail here. That's what we're doing back and forth. That's a nice four-door that Dave has got. But making that turn with a two-door is just like a piece of cake. <clears throat> see now, now you can see the little cabin up into the right, upper right corner. It looks like somebody's building a, I don't know, maybe a tent platform. That's pretty. So you're using that off-road plus I haven't had to touch the brake because it's in a low gear. It's kind of like a crawling gear. Some snow up there at the top of the ridge line and then over to the right is uh, waterfalls all the way down the little valley area there. These rental deals, you never know. They don't have any idea what they're doing generally. do some pretty dumb things. Here's another avalanche area. Come right down this valley. All the trees are pushed down. Oh, quite the canyon here. Look at this. Wow. River going right through this little canyon. This is Ute Way, town of town and mill site. U-T-E Way. Looks like everything's pretty much boarded up. Now this is a curvy road. It smells good. You can't get that on the video. Somebody's cooking something good. Burgers, barbecue, beer, and biker friendly. Looks like they're also side by friendly as well. It says Gunnison to the left and Creed to the right. Historic 1874. It's quite a town. 